everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I'm gonna show you how to refresh a planting in a big feed tank. Now this has been planted for a number of years, and you can see the soil level has sunk significantly. So today what I'm gonna do is just dig out the existing blackberry vines. Don't worry, I'm gonna replant them, but I'm gonna top fill, I'm gonna fill this this feed tank back up to the top with more soil and I'm going to plant in some other winter interest plants that I can eat. So what caused this vessel to lose so much soil mass? Well, the answer is simple and it's entirely my fault. When I first installed these, I was trying to save money. <laughs> Instead of buying enough soil to fill them, I instead opted to put in um, a hay bale in the bottom to fill up some of the mass and then filled it with soil and planted it and everything looked great. But guess what happened when all that hay started to decompose? The soil level went from appropriate level down an inch, down an inch, down a foot. And now I'm stuck having to redo this project that I could have done the right way the first time. And so that's always a lesson for me to learn when I try to cut corners in the garden, it usually results in more work in the long run. So when planting a feed tank from Tractor Supply, simply get enough soil to fill them the first time, and then you won't have to transplant things that have been growing happily for years and refill it. So it was explained to me by my friend Frank Hyman that the reason that these galvanized tanks will fail in the garden is because people like me put them right out onto the soil, which causes the bottom to actually rust off. Now, the reason that I'm growing in these is to avoid root knot nematodes from getting into the root zone of the plants I grow. So if the bottom rots off, that defeats the purpose. So today, with the help of my handy husband, we are going to rise this up and slide in some concrete blocks to help give this a longer lifespan. Now that this is raised off of the ground, I can get started refilling this with compost. All right, now that I've got this topped off with, with compost, it's time for me to replant. And I've got some large clumps of the blackberry that was already planted in here. The reason that I like to concentrate briars in containment is because they have such a spreading habit and I don't want my entire yard to be devoted just to blackberries. I like to grow other things too, but I want to make sure I have some. Now the thing that I'm going to do differently this year is, or this time I plant them, I'm actually going to concentrate the blackberries towards the front of the planting instead of middle or back. And that's going to enable me to utilize the back of this feed tank to plant something from seed so that I can maximize the square footage of this tank. So now to the fun part. What should I sow to be the complement for these beautiful blackberries? And I've gone through my cool season seeds and I'm almost out. I've done a great job of getting things sown this year. But I found a couple of things that I think will work and be really cool. So first, I'm going to seed in the Toscano kale just kind of throughout the open compost, along with the radish dragon's tail, which is a plant that I've never grown before. And then as a center element, I have just enough barley to do one clump. And I think that will be a really dynamic addition to this feed tank planter. I look forward to sharing updates as all of this grows and germinates through the cool season. Thanks so much for watching.